welcome to a CDHTV gameplay video. Today I will be playing my take on the Dawn Waker Thrasios list. It has added a bit more Lands Matter cards to gain advantage and take over the game that way. Okay, uh, this is our second seven and it looks pretty good. Some nice like game advantage stuff. We have Southern Library to get us some more value. We got a Lotus Bloom so we can get out one of these pretty quick. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna keep. Hi, today I'm playing Radrock, Apex of Thunder. The main game plan of the deck is to get either like a Cloud of Fairies with a High Tide in play or a Dockside and then just bounce bounce them and then cast Radrock mutating on them to repeatedly bounce for infinite mana. It's also a breach deck, it mills aggressively and you do have some cute interactions like uh, casting a Savins from the graveyard without actually flashbacking it, which is pretty strong. My 6 is also pretty interesting. Uh, it has mana but it doesn't have anything for Vadrock to mutate to. Virgin Scroll is pretty interesting but I don't think it actually finds anything that solves any problems with this hand. I could probably keep it and I might I, I might have just kept it to do like a turn 2 Merchant Scroll for Brain Freeze. Hopefully draw into a creature to mutate on, but I don't think... I could also like Merchant Scroll for something like Intuition. But that's very aggressive and while we do have some backup for it, I don't think that's actually that good of a play here. Or I guess that's better than going to 5 probably, so yeah, I'll keep this. A bit reluctantly, it's not the best hand, it's a bit awkward, but I guess... It will probably work out, just merchant scoring for intuition isn't all that bad. Hi there, Mons here, playing Magara of the Magic Strings. Rakdos control, but trying to go infinite combat steps. A little bit torn about how I want this deck to be, so it's a, it's a mixture. It's a very new commander, trying out a lot of different things. I don't, I, there's gonna be a deck list in the description below, but like, don't take that for a certainty yet. It's a little bit of an experiment, just trying it out. So there's a lot of mixture. I really like my opening hand though, we have a Gamble, that's great with this commander, we have a mana crypt, we can get that going really fast, we have an anger that we can potentially discard with the ga gamble, and a grim tutor, but we have a turn to Magara here. Hey guys, welcome to the new video, today we're playing a TNT shell with uh, Abdeladrian, Garion's Ward, using it as a type of world gorger dragon effect, Razakath, you know, if you're used to the old uh, Lightning Relic Order type of gameplay, that's that. Our hand, a lot of mana, sadly we're going last, so the Remora isn't as effective as I'd want it to be, but I think we'll be fine, because we can just flood the board with just a lot of resources. Hopefully we draw an artifact turn one, uh, and then we should be able to flash in the Arcus of Ogma on in response to someone's fetch or tutor. That, uh, let's uh, have a good game. Alright, I will start the game. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play this Misty Rainforest. I'm going to suspend a Lotus Bloom. I'll crack my Misty for a Tropical Island. And I think I'm just going to pass the turn. Draw of turn. Play Mana Confluence, Land of turn. Tap it, lose a life to cast a Mana Bolt. And then pass the turn. Take my turn, draw a card. I'm going to put this Canyon Sluge into play tap. Cast Mana Crypt and then i pass the turn cool uh go to my turn draw a card i will play a flood run i will play uh, i'll crack it take a damage and i shall fetch i'll shock in this watery grave and then i'd like to put her more on the stack uh i will respond by a mental mist i will respond with a misstep of my own <gasps> pass on the misstep uh back to remora uh pass on remora then i will play a mana crypt and a mobile and then i'll pass my turn all right uh i'll remove a time counter from lotus bloom i will play a volcanic island and i will tap two to cast a sylvan library unless you can draw okay and then if sylvan library resolves i will pass my turn take my turn tap a blue losing life to cast a hedron crab then i'll play this bloodstained mire hedron crab trigger i'd like to mill myself for four not for three so i will mill Hello Fountain, Mist Rainforest, and Marsh Flats. <laughs> Everything I wanted, let's go. I will fetch my Bloodstained Mire, losing life. Finding Volcanic Island, milling myself for three more. Breach, Model the Mixture, and Dragon Street Chandler. That's actually a really good hit though. Like Breach, you can cause Breach with Commander, right? Then I'll pass the turn. Going to my turn, drawing a card and untapping stuff. So I can eat the fish. A bunch by costing this ritual, costing gamble, costing commander. Uh, there's a fish in play. I think we're just going to establish board state, cast commander, 
and pass here, I think, because of the fish. Swamp, land drop, one, two, three, floating a colorless, casting my commander and passing the turn. All right, on top, uh, pay for fish. Uh, 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 I'll play an exotic orchard. I'll play a lotus petal. Tap exotic orchard for a black, and I'll play an imperial seal. Cool. I will tutor a card. I put a card on top of my library. I uh, lose my two life, and then I pass my turn. I'll remove a counter from lotus bloom, and I uh, do my sylvan library trigger, or all three cards, and take eight damage. I will start by playing a rejuvenating springs and cast an uro. So I'm going to gain three life, draw a card, and then I'm going to put this Arid Mesa into play and then sacrifice Uro. Then I'm going to crack said Arid Mesa for a Savannah and use that to cast Nesper Sentinel. And if that's all good, I will pass my turn. Take my turn. Land for turn is a Exotic Orchard, and I'll mill Omnis for three. Uh, sure. Get a Abdograyan. Jonathan Magistrate, Mox Amber. Oh, he played me like a fiddle. <laughs> yep. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know what build Anis was playing, and he baited me into milling the tutored card. I, I guessed he would assume he would draw it before I could mill him, but no, he, he calculated this and assumed I would mill him when he got to my turn. So I milled him the thing he wants to reanimate, and now he's one card away from infinite, one once of infinite mana. Uh, I still have counter for it, it's, it's not like doomed or anything, but like, yeah, he, he got me. I, I played right into his hands. That's what he wanted to happen. But that's life. Let's see if I can do something here. I will tap three to cast a Jessica's Will targeting Amnis to get mana. I'll pay with the one floating. I cannot pay for more. Make six red mana. Uh, three red and a white. I'd like to cast Vadrock on Hedron Crab. So muted trigger, I will cast a Jessica's Will again targeting Moss. I have six cards, you get six red mana. I go up to nine red mana floating and exile top three. There, it's land, a land, and a frantic search. That's not great. Tap for a blue, use two red, cast a frantic search. I can pay for fish. Use four of my seven red mana. I'll draw two. I will discard a faithless looting and a is it signet. So I'm in a weird spot here. I can storm pretty hard and Grand Abolisher helps me, but the problem is I can't actually afford to storm after casting Grand Abolisher. So I think my best bet here is to just cast Merchant Scroll, found, find a bound spell, and then just sit on it and interact if they try to win, and then try to go for it on my turn with my creatures in hand. And that feels kind of bad, but the problem is like trying to set up here would also draw honest and loads of cards, and I don't want to do that. So yeah, I think my best choice is just to find like a Shame of Vapor with Merchant Scroll, and then hold it up, bounce my bounce my pile, and then go for it next turn, which is kind of protected. So it's, but I'm also kind of low on mana, so it's kind of awkward. But yeah, I think that's the right cost. Then. Tap one, use the red, cast a merchant scroll. Not paying for fish. Uh, I'll respond to that magic uh, by flashing in an archivist of Agma, uh, and then yeah, I'll pass on the merchant scroll. I'll put the snap into my hand, and then I pass the turn. I'm tapping everything I have and drawing a card. So we can win. However, there's a fish. So what we can do is we can cast the ga- Okay, there's like- sh We gotta be lucky if we're gonna win. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast Gamble. We're gonna find Seize the Day. Or first we're gonna cast the Rituals. So we have all the red mana in the world that we need. And then if we don't discard Seize the Day in Anger, we have a spell we can cast to discard Seize the Day and Anger together. We can then activate our commander, go to combat, and never mind. Everyone has blockers. That doesn't work. There's also another problem with that. Let's theoretically say someone here doesn't have a blocker, and Pontus doesn't have that snap to return our creature back to our hand. Then there's a fish. And every time we cast Seize the Day, Anis, with his fish, will draw a card and eventually draw it. Like, he's gonna, like, literally go down a lot. Just draw cards. And then one if once he finds his spot removal, he will continue to draw more cards. And then he will use his spot removal to kill my creature and we go to Anis' turn and he wins. So I literally can't do that. Instead, we're playing the safe game. A little bit of interactive game here. We don't need to do anything now. We're just gonna pass the turn. We can cast the Poetic Ritual in instant speed. We can cast the Discard spell in instant speed. We can't cast the Gamble in instant speed. That's sad. But we can set up for the next turn just hoping we survive. Very important here. The 
If we feed people cards now, our chance of getting a new turn decreases. They'll do nothing and hope for the best. Uh, sure, go to my turn. I'm gonna shock in this breeding pool, and then I'm gonna tap two and I'm gonna cast Thrasios. I'm going to tap two and I'm going to play a Dance of Z Dead. Yeah, that's percent no trigger. Uh, can't pay. Go for it. Uh, I pass on the Dance of the Dead. I pass on Dance of the Dead. I'm Rakdos. ETB, I would like to reanimate Abogor. Abdel Adrian. Adrian grinds ward, enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non land permanents you control until Abdel Adrian leaves the battlefield. Create a 1 1 white soldier creature token for each permanent exile this way. ETB trigger on the stack. Uh, I pass. I'll respond with a known interaction. Cast a snap on Abdel. There's a fish trigger that I would like to respond to. Alright, uh, Esper trigger. Ah, uh, cool. And then I'll respond to my fish trigger by casting a Vamp Tutor. I pass on Vamp Tutor. I pass on Vamp. I'm Rakdos. Cool. I'm gonna put a card to the top of my library. I'll put this on top, and then I will. am I good to draw a card off the Remora? Cool. I will respond to the snap with a Fierce Grandship. I pass on Fierce. So, guys, I can I can draw cards and event potentially draw into Red Elemental Dust or, Pyro, or Pyroblast, but I will give him cards if doing so. Um, you probably should. We still I mean, lose. Yeah, we maybe. lose. We lose. Yeah, yeah I know. I will lose. But I'm asking if you guys have like interaction besides me. Because uh, if you I, have, I have, it, I have nothing in my hand currently. Yeah, that I can play. Yeah, because if I, someone can bounce my commander, I can respond. But otherwise, no. No. Okay. But I might be able to draw. Like if you play something, um, I get an Esper draw. If you don't, I mean, I will try it. Hope for the best. If you don't have anything, good luck. I'm tapping this for red. Tapping this for colorless. Casting Heretic Ritual to add free red mana to my mana pool. Esper trigger. You can draw a card, Jordan. Uh, yeah, in response to that, I will show you a Pact of Negation. In that case, uh, I, I have no further interaction. I, I'm passing on Pact. Snap is countered. So what's going to happen here is that Abdelgarion sort of functions like a World Gorgeous Dragon in that when he ETBs, he flickers Dance of the Dead, but then Dance of the Dead leaves the battlefield, which means I have to sack Abdel, uh, Abdel Adrian, and then it will ETB, and then I will reanimate him, and then I flicker any number of non-land permanents. I also get a 1-1 White Soldier, so I will have both infinite mana and infinite 1-1s. With that, I'm going to draw until I hit my uh, finale of Devastation, X is a billion, and then all my 1-1s have haste, and I'll kill everyone. We played him like a fiddle, boys. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not sure that's what a fiddle looks like, but yeah, you get what I mean. 